so this video is supposed to be a final video or a remark on the whole series that i've been doing so someone may ask why you chose to do this thing on excel could have just hand calculated it so if i did this thing on excel make it more versatile to use i can even let me say i'm doing another experiment or with another basement or something of a different geometry now it's 67 you see that changes literally everything on the graph even the young modulus now is one seven one four seven and if i can change it again maybe make it 78 just picking random numbers to 126 uh, what if i'm picking some random numbers again like um if i'm saying um 65 that changes every answer in the spreadsheet so that's the power of excel i can easily manipulate one thing and it will auto fix for everything that i've done so that's the reason also someone also reminded me that i forgot to do um i forgot to do uh what do you call this so i was saying someone reminded me that you can actually do these videos except i mean without doing the yield strength so the yield strength is literally where the graph um I will deform and will never reform to what it was or will never come back elastically or is stop behaving or where the plastic region starts so this is not an engineering class so I'm not too technical but my point is to show you how actually we do it on Excel okay that's nice I have my pen now cool so on the graph like let me say these are X's and then this is my straight Oh, stress this is my strain and then let me say I have a function a slope a curve like this one so this thing that we're looking for which is yield strength is somewhere here there will be an upper one and a lower one okay this is not a technical class also so there are two ways of actually finding yield strength some of them is just coming here coming by 0 0.35 so if the video is too long i'll show you how to do that also but the most common one of which engineers believe it's more accurate i don't know they say so is getting on um, you see this this straight line part making a line that is actually parallel to it parallel to it but offsets here we offset it by zero point two percent so that's the whole idea you offset it to point two, then you plot a line and then where it intersect then that's where you call that your yield uh -huh, strength okay so this is what we are trying to do remember it's a remark video i'm just adding this to so it will be the last thing that you you do also after calculating the yield strength you obviously have another word called um Okay, let me just do this one first and then we we'll see what how much time we have so we now have the gradient of the others more let me say more what do you call this more straight line or elastic region so we're trying to plot a line with the same gradient that will be parallel to it but will be offset 0 0.2 percent so to do that we're just going to come here I'll, I'll make another block i'll call it offset strain because i'm trying to offset strain what am i doing there okay i'm trying to offset offset strain what i'm going to do i'm going to come here take okay equal sign take strain just add 0 0.002 that is right what did i do i don't see any mistake okay i just didn't notice that excel doesn't like dots they prefer commas so it didn't recognize that one as a number so that is going to be our, our first offset okay so now we're trying to do that offset for literally every cell we're literally adding 0 0.002 to every strain here then with that being said 
now we have we literally built another x axis let me call this an x for you on top we're now trying to build the y the y remember we have we're trying to plot something parallel to this to this um, let me get a pen we're trying to plot a function y is equals to young modulus x all right or young modulus is gradient and we have it just here okay cool so what are we going to do we're going to say we're going to come here do the same thing equal sign is going to equal to young modulus right where is our young modulus here it is and then we're going to multiply to um to to our input the same input that we had in the beginning this one okay cool so now let's look where this function look like we're trying to achieve a very straight line right uh we did three lines let me do four four is fine okay why i'm not getting numbers okay remember i'm trying to use a constant here young modulus so i'm supposed to hold it or put those dollar signs hold the row hold the column right now it's better if i come here okay and i should drag this thing down it should do more calculations for me maybe this file is fine okay what is the problem now oh i i hold it the wrong number i'm supposed to hold um drag i'm supposed to hold the young modulus okay let me go there i'm supposed to hold the young modulus so this is this one on g so hold that one and hold row row and column right and then let's see the result this file is fine okay that's really interesting so now we're supposed to plot this new xy function i want to plot it let me create another plot of which is more shorter than this one because we're trying to focus literally on this straight part so before that mm, let me call this one offset uh stress right that's nice so um let me create another plot so that my things will be more easy okay insert again chart i want to create that one and i want to add more data add a table the name it should be this one now okay the x x strains but we get in we'll get the the offset strain but a little bit let's say we're leaving three okay on the y okay i don't like this is blocking me okay we're leaving three okay so that is not enough because it doesn't curve so i can just it was 36 36 what if i try 13 7 and 37 let me see Oh, this is a straight line so that's nice so and i forgot that i was plotting the straight part of it so in the very same plot let me try to plot um i think i ended around seven okay okay cool let me plot it and you select new data i'm trying to plot the actual graph that we had in the very beginning okay oh, it's going to be this one now mm, okay so our x is going to be the same axis that we had in the very beginning but we lack some few things because i'm trying to focus on the small part okay on the y's we're going to bring back 
this one I forgot which one we left I think this is enough okay so if you notice here both of these blocks are here and they intercept here that's our interest point so I think here I need to remove two more points so that I can have the graph more specific uh, let me say select data I want to come to this one the straight one and edit it I think I over let me give it five did did five yeah and another five yeah still it looked like that so what I've been doing okay I'm I took a break I just go to format and change the the maximum value I'm trying to actually zoom in so my maximum here is zero let me try to make it zero two because it will kind of zoom in see okay let me change these ones now ah format axis same thing and my max what if i make it zero four oh i feel like zero four will capture what i'm looking for zero four okay that's better now we know okay i can also zoom in again because i i can okay what if we make it zero zero five here maximum put on a zero and put um five trying to make sure we see the intercept because that's what we're interested in and then go back here format again okay what if my i make my max zero two think that would be a good one uh zero two is not enough let me say zero one five just two yes now from here you now see your fun your graph they kind of look like this you can now uh look with your eyes and try to estimate um what is actually the value here so that that value is going to give you your heart your what we were talking about in the very beginning where this function intercepts remember the or the, the 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 blue one is literally your offset and then where they meet you get something you call yield strength of which is very important for material if you are designing any sort of engineering product okay so let's try to estimate what number is that if i look here the point it looks like it is 0, 0.0 let me just write it i feel like here let me move that on here and i go down i can have 0 0.0029 on the strain and here if i push that on there i feel like i'm can i can read things like um on the strain I mean stress I can read something zero point I think it's fair to say zero point one three so this is going to be our intercept it's look really interesting so to find things like resilience now it's going to be almost the same thing as the one that we did in the beginning but now you are f trying to find the area below this curve so do you understand that um the math is the same we're still using those shapes that we're using to find the area below this so i hope this series was helpful please don't forget to comment and share with your friends now like and subscribe and also yeah share with your friends again thank you